Okay, it's day six of the Week of Retribution, and uh, now I'm going to discuss why Elliot Roger could not get a girlfriend. Now, I'm not very good with women, so don't take this as dating advice, okay? Don't look to me for dating advice or how to get girls or anything like that. But anyway, let's let's look at the three at three reasons I've identified so far. One, he never fucking tried. He never approached a girl throughout his entire 137-page manifesto. He just didn't. Nobody knows why he didn't approach a girl, but he didn't. He made real no effort to uh, approaching a girl. And his failure to understand that social rule that men approach women was huge. It really did him in. And two, the gay vibes were really strong with Elliot Roger. I mean, a lot of people say he was good looking. And uh, a lot of people, and if I had saw him in the street or something like that, or talked to him, I would have assumed he was gay. Or suspected he was gay. Because he, he was admitting gay vibes all the time. And uh, three, last but probably not least, he had stalker written all over him. I mean, he was creepy. He laughed like an overtly polite, you know, serial killer from some horror movie or something. And he, well, he l laughed more like an anime villain than anything else. But it's like he. I guess women kind of felt that, you know, he would turn, that if they paid the slightest attention to them, he would, he would become obsessed with them. And when they eventually tried to break off all contact, he would turn into a little, demi into a, you know, one of those shows about stalkers who kill. They feared that they would be on it, or maybe he would have turned into a Dimitri Paragoxis and killed them and a few other people as well. The point is, is Elliot Roger had a lot of problems. He couldn't understand why he couldn't get girls, because he dressed nice, he was sophisticated in his words, intelligent, traveled the world, had all this nice stuff, but he couldn't get a girlfriend, and he didn't understand why. And, um... That's just, um, you know, a reality. And, um, I think a lot of women just saw that, eh, he's too creepy, he's too cl clingy and all that stuff, and, he, and he's probably gay anyway, so it's like, hmm. But, um, you know, there's a lot of shit can be done, a lot of research that can be done about Elliot Roger, all from his manifesto, and, um, you know, he clearly blamed women for his problems, and as well as the guys who got them, but the truth is, is that if you read his manifesto, he starts to imagine a world where he's in charge, and what's interesting is that he's not, again, he's, he, he, He's, he's, he's fantasized about a world where he's in charge, and I just kept waiting for, for the part where he decides he's going to keep a bunch of women as his sex slaves and all that stuff, and it never happens. It never comes. Kind of like, you know, all these incels who want to overthrow the Chads and Stacys of the world. Um, they are advocating, you know, more, some of them are advocating more attacks, like, you know, bombings and shootings and all that stuff. And, um, Chad, and it's like, they want to ask mass acid attacks on women and all that stuff. And it's like, uh, that's very telling. Because, again, they aren't interested in, you know, creating a, a brothel or a harem that, where, or, or creating a world where they can force women to have sex with them. They just want to make everybody else suffer. 
And that's where Elliot Roger was at. He wanted everybody else to suffer as he was suffering. He wasn't interested in making his life better. He was interested in making everybody else's life suck as bad as his. In any case, that will conclude my video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.